So which one is the one? That one is yours. You have three cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, I'm Lisel, and today I'm in Göteborg in semi-final two of Melody Festival, and today I'm joined by my fellow Pinoy, Liamo. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> How have your preparations uh, for this time been different compared to previous years? It's been a lot of uh, preparations uh, since November, actually, since we knew that the song got accepted in the in the competition. We started to think about stuff that we never thought about before, like, you know, just and rocking the song from the start in, in every way and, in, in, you know, merch and clothing and the message and the the title the the number all of it just stick into the same topic to the, to the same red line so i feel i feel really prepared i just got to focus now yeah and what does dragon mean to you dragon uh, dragon is about um the strength the inner strength it's about Finding your inner strength and seeing like your full potential, not being too hard on yourself and not looking down on yourself. Because as I said in a previous interview, um, I I'm I'm very good at being too hard on myself and telling myself that no uh, no nah, nah, no no no. But I'm just trying to enjoy what I have in front of me. I'm just trying to enjoy being on stage and just have fun and and appreciate myself uh i know there's a lot of people out there feeling the same way but don't be too hard on yourself you know you just gotta appreciate yourself and tell yourself that hey man or girl you're good you're good at what you're doing and you're unique and no one is like you so that's that's the real message to you guys out there appreciate yourself what were your guidelines to the team of what you wanted on stage to have the message be seen? Yeah, I feel like this is this is exactly how I visualized it from the start. Actually, I saw myself on stage with fire around me and I actually saw myself wearing like a coat. Mm -hmm. But it was it looked great in my head, but then when I, th I thought about it, that was the exact outfit that I had in Hold You. So I was like, no, it's already been done. So, and uh, I have always been wearing uh, black outfits. In the, in the in last breath, I had like a, it was like a jeans jacket, black and and black jeans and black shoes, low low black shoes. And then in hold you, I had like a coat, and t-shirt and uh yeah black pants and black shoes and then we have bluffing that one was more like the military vibe bomber jacket and cargo pants and big boots um so my first focus was actually at finding something new but still me because i was like okay it's the fourth time maybe i shouldn't wear black uh but then when I thought about these other colors, I was like, mm, no. Gray? Mm, no. White? No, 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 no. Uh, and a color? No, 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 no. So, yeah, I went back to, to, to yeah, just wearing, wearing black. And uh, I was just trying to figure out how to do it in a new way. Because I really liked the bluffing outfit. Um, but I wanted to take it to the next step so I was like okay how can we do this better at first we ended up just making the bluffing outfit and I was like mm -mm, nope I cannot show up again with the same outfit so instead of like bringing more clothes take it the other way take off the jacket wear like a tank top or something like that show some skin so that's pretty much how we no no actually we had this this outfit that I'm wearing right now but it had arms it was covered here and I actually had gloves also oh. um, but I didn't like it I, I looked and I was like mm, looks too tight mm. it looks very tight and it makes my head look very big 
And then we actually had the, the rehearsals in House of Shapes with SVT. And that day I was wearing uh, black boots, um, these pants, like very wide pants and a tank top. And I rehearsed in it and I was like, damn, it looks good. Yeah. Maybe this is where we're going. So that's where we went, showing some more skin. Instead of getting dressed more, I dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I saw the photos uh, from uh, my friend, and it was like fun to see like different. It was like looking different, even if it's black, as mm -hmm. you said. But mm -hmm. I think the colors will be like shown in a different way than like clothing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so. What what photos? No, from the stage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just the fro from the stage. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. like. I have this, I have this, um, this mindset that I that I got from uh, being an, uh, the Swedish Idol mm. because we 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 did like a sh episode every Friday, yeah. and it was competition every Friday. Mm. So my mindset was like, okay, I have to bring something new to the table every Friday. Mm. I cannot come back and do the same thing because that's for, for me as a viewer I think it's pretty boring to do mm. the same thing all over and over again yeah. um, so I'm always trying to give the people something new something interesting to look at um, that's also my mindset in the Melody Festival mm. I'm trying to do something new but I'm also trying to like keep myself in it because I don't want to change my identity every time I come back. No. <laughs> it's me doing different type of numbers. Mm -hmm. But still with my style, because I feel like all the outfits that I have, they kind of stick to the same type of like style. Mm. It feels nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be like, we're gonna have like, see you, but still feel like it's still you, even if you're doing something new. Yeah. It's good to see. Because I wanted to ask you, because when I think about dragons, I think of like movies, series, or any other kind of fantasy story. Yeah. What is your favorite story that includes dragons in them? I don't have like a... I don't have like a specific story, like a movie or something that's already made. Mm -hmm. I have... I have this vision in my head mm -hmm. that pretty much created um, this whole idea of making this uh, and I also saw a picture on Google mm. it was like a because I can also like connect the the dragon to your fear mm. face your fears and I saw a picture of like a man standing on top of a mountain and just facing a huge dragon looking at him he was looking at the dragon and the dragon was looking at him and it was being like really aggressive and uh, instead of being afraid of that dragon become friends with it because it's it's a definition but the dragon can also be your fear mm -hmm. don't be scared of it make it your friend um, and that's what I see in my head instead of because the dragon can also be me being nervous and pushing myself back and not letting me become who I want to become. Mm -hmm. But if I become friend with the dragon and the dragon is on my side, yeah. then we're going to be strong as hell. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I see in my head and I really like that. So that's the whole thing with the like baby dragon thing and yeah, it's 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 from the Asian side of the world and I have that blood in me. Yeah, because you have mentioned being shy in previous interviews. Yeah. And from <clears throat> someone like me that has also been very shy. Yeah. I know it's like a long journey to work on that. Oof. It's like very tough sometimes. It's I, very tough. Yeah. And I think I think also, like, uh, the nervosity, it comes from being shy. Mm. If you if you grow up as a very shy kid as I did and as you did and then you're gonna walk up on stage and just be an artist in front of everyone in your country and also outside the country mm. that's a very big step yeah. it's a very big step because me in school I was I was very quiet and 
I had so so much issues with looking someone in the eye mm -hmm. and it was also because uh, I have glasses now I have contacts mm -hmm. but I was very insecure about my glasses yeah. today I love glasses that's freaking awesome you look freaking intelligent but me as a kid you know going to school and other kids telling telling me bad stuff about my glasses and you know telling me negative comments about something that I'm already insecure of mm. didn't really make it better no so then when I entered like this world like the, the, the TV world and the music world and for people to not judge me but just what I do mm. it was a big step uh, but I also saw it as a good thing yeah. facing your fears yeah exactly I'm very nervous walking up on stage but I feel like okay how can I how can I become more secure in that world do it more mm -hmm. if you're scared of heights climb even climb higher yeah. if you're scared of the water swim swim even more face your fears even more so you become friends with it mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, I think that's the best way because if you run from it and avoid it, it's not gonna make anything better. Yeah, exactly. I can relate to that because like even with me doing interviews, like before I was just behind the camera. Yeah. But now I'm doing it, so like it's a big step. But it's it's like, a big so. step, and I'm really really happy to see that. Yeah. It's cool. So would you like if there's anyone else out there? Do you have like a tip on how to work with it to be less shy around people? challenge yourself that's that's what it is if you feel like oh oh I f I like uh, you're experiencing anxiety and you're getting really stressed mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people you know you maybe you go to a dinner a family dinner or someone else's family dinner and you feel this anxiety you're like no I don't want to go out there because it feels uh, it's so much pressure on me just do it yeah. do it because the first wave of nervosity is it's just in the beginning. It's gonna feel very weird, but just do it. So that's my best like tip tips. Hello, oh, you must say Yeah. <laughs> do it more. If you're scared of it, do it more. Yeah. Just do it. That's great. Because I wanted also to ask you uh, about uh, a song that you posted on your Instagram, mm -hmm. the the letter, which was produced by Black Noise. Yeah. yeah. And who is Black Noise and what inspired you to create that one? Um, Black Noise is a producer duo, mm. two friends of mine, one called Kian or Kiano, and the other one is called Dizzy Beats. They, they make very good beats. It's uh, often very urban. Mm. Um, so yeah, I just went to see them one day and they showed me that beat and I was like, hey, I need to write some bars on this one. And when it comes to when it comes to uh, pop songs and all that, it's al almost always very polished, mm -hmm. and it has like this this uh, so mal. What's going say? A template thing. Yeah, yeah. that it ha that it needs to stick to. Mm -hmm. You you cannot have too many words. You you need to do this. You need to do that. But when it comes to rap, you're free for sixteen bars or more if you feel like you can just write you can flow you can do whatever it's your time to shine uh, and I really felt like I needed to do one of those songs because I had to get a lot of stuff off my chest it was nice to do that mm. so it's a it's a when it comes to rap it's often very personal and it's often or always 100% from me yeah. from here mm -hmm. Because in my opinion, that song is one of your best ones, even oh, if it's you. not officially released. Yeah. Because it feels very more authentic to you than everything. It else. is. It is actually 100% me. Um, yeah. And when I when I write like pop songs and stuff like that, it's often with songwriters and producers. And when I when I rap, it's always just me. Yeah. And uh, so it cannot get more personal than me rapping mm, yeah. and it's like also it's like going to like a, a therapist and just mm -hmm. speaking to someone yeah that's the same feeling when you write down your your rap mm -hmm. you can just say whatever you feel like and it's an amazing feeling yeah 
could we like expect more kind of this music from you? Because I yeah. don't know if we like that. Yeah, of course. And I mean, like, if I if I drop an album in the future, mm -hmm. there's gonna be rap. But it's 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 less of a chance when it's singles. Mm -hmm. Because they're they're. I am from the hip hop scene. Yeah. The hip hop is like the very first genre that I loved mm -hmm. and still love and uh, studied the hip hop culture a lot as a kid and thanks to my mom and my dad showing me like 90s boom bap from the states and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, so it really feels like a part of me that I need to bring back. Yeah. But maybe not now because now I'm trying to work with the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's will come in the yeah. future. Yeah. Yeah. But I I'm never going to stop the rap. Mm. Never going to stop being a rapper. But it's just I'm just waiting for the right time and I feel like releasing more rap is going to be like in a bigger collection, like an album mm. or EP or something that's going to be way more easier. Mm. Now I also started to work with Imperial. They give me my space that I need. They listen to me, mm -hmm. and it feels amazing. That's good. We like that. Yeah. This is very important to have like a good team that would like listen to. Because I have heard stories that maybe not all the time people get. You need to like compromise more than. Yeah. This is my eighth year in uh, in the in the yeah in the music business. Yeah. Uh, since Idol, and uh, this is the first time I feel like I have the very best team yeah. they listen to me they're very good at everything and they they get the work done mm. they have been in the business for a very long time all of them in their own like lanes mm -hmm. um, so I feel like I'm, we're strong as a team very strong as a team yeah and I also feel like especially from Robert uh, Skowronski he's he's like a new guy because he also went to Imperial and he feels like, I don't know, and like how do you say, that new spark from mm. someone. It feels like he has that new spark, he's hungry. Yeah. Right now he's very hungry. And me, after finding myself, I'm also very hungry. Yeah. And then we have uh, Helene Vigren who's working as PR. She's very experienced. Mm. She knows her shit. <laughs> Uh, and then I have um, Oscar, my brother. He's not my real, my real brother, but as a brother. Yeah. And he's also very hungry because he really wants to do this and work mm -hmm. with this. So I'm trying to like evolve, involve him more in this, get him more involved. It just feels strong. And then we have a Gregory Curtis behind the behind the microphone. Yeah. Oh my days, that's my guy. He sings so good. All of them. We have me, we have Lina, we have, you know, I'm not trying to mention everyone, but <laughs> I love my team. Mm. I feel like we're a strong team right now. And yeah, where I'm at mentally, it's just perfect in the timing. Yeah. I'm glad to hear. It's like nice to ha see that. And yeah. that works good because you can tell by the music or like the yeah. everything else around. So it's good to see. Yeah, that that's like the the that's the first thing like that me and Jimmy Joker spoke about mm -hmm. because he told me about the song like uh, uh, being accepted to the competition, mm -hmm. and he also said like, oh, it's I'm so happy that the jury liked it because the jury liked it, uh, and then he said because it's a very um, it's not the typical song in Melody mm. Festival. It's it's very dark and it's very aggressive. Mm. And I'm also very happy about that because I love the song and during all these eight years, mm. I've been going to studio sessions and I've been wanting to make like mysterious dark songs like these ones, but producers, not, not the ones I work with now, but mm. most of them can be like, mm, it's too dark. It's mm. too dark. No, it's no, it's too dark. So it's like often been avoided. Yeah. But now we just went in the studio and we just, you know, followed the wave. Like, 
just just accept it as, as, like for what it is mm. so i'm really happy that it uh, like qualified not qualified but get picked yeah yeah <laughs> to the to the to the to the competition yeah. now we're just gonna see what the people think about it because it's a like i said it's a very svår kanske maybe not svår but it's a it's not the most typical song yeah so i hope they like it because i love it yeah. if i can say that yeah, yeah. I'm excited to hear it because I've only heard the snippets, but that doesn't give a fair like show of what the song is. So I'm gonna wait with my opinions about it. But I wanted to like ask you. Lastly, do you have any upcoming projects after oh, the yes. festival that we should check out? Oh yes, 